Okay, Stan Arthur here. We're going to try to get this tutorial done finally at last. This is actually a tutorial based on another tutorial that someone did for Avid Media Composer. They call it an advanced audio editing technique. I'm doing it for Premiere Pro because the, the procedure is a little bit different. What I have here is I have three files. This is a uh, motocross... Uh, file guy zooming down a trailer a trailer a trail and taking a big jump and that's it and it's in slow motion uh, I think it was uh, shot at 60 frames per second okay so let's make a, a sequence out of that in the timeline and a couple of things I'm going to do to it first here just to play it real time so you can see it's it's in slow motion already okay okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in real time till it gets right there and then I'm going to cut it right there and then I'm going to bring it forward till he hits the dirt right there I'm going to cut it again um, on the first one I'm going to go to speed duration and make it 200 to speed it up by a factor of two uh, on this one which is where he hits the uh, jump I'm going to slow that down even more. I'm going to go speed duration. I'm going to make it 50 and put optical flow in there. Okay. And then the last one again, I'm going to make it 200. Okay. So this is what we have with no sound uh, coming down the trail and jumps and it's slow and then he hits and it's fast again. Okay. Now, uh, fun part that we're going to do here is mix some music to this so that it makes some sense and add some fun to it. Okay, so I've got this music clip here called Extreme Sport Version A. I'm going to stick it in there and uh, looks like it's got some false starts here. Let's see where it really kicks in. There it is. Right there, there's the downbeat. So I'm gonna cut it there and delete it, just slide it on down here. Okay, now is what we got. Now I want it to hit a downbeat where he jumps. So I want I want there to be a downbeat right there. So what I'm gonna do is find a, the closest downbeat. Okay, it's right there. It's right there. So, I am going to take my rate stretch tool and back it up to there. So now it'll... He'll okay. And A plus shift, and I can close down there. Okay. Okay. Now, I want this... I'm going to cut this here and here. All right. And then this part during the jump, I'm just going to slide it down here. I'm going to find that downbeat again, the same downbeat. There it is. And I'm going to put this right where he lands the motorcycle. Be. Okay, so now we have to fill it in. Okay, so I'm going to take this clip and I'm going to put a fade on it like that. Actually, I'll make it a little shorter, I think. I'm going to turn this to audio unit so I have more. I'm going to turn the snapping off, too. There we go. And a little longer, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate that and bring it down to the track below it. Now I just click on it and hit the Alt key and drag it down. Now it's creating a copy of it. On this copy, I do not want the fade. Now I'm going to go to my... Um, mixer 
And since this is on track two, I'm going to go to track two. I'm going to add a reverb. Let's just put studio reverb. And now let's set up a sound that, that makes sense here. Um, we, go, we don't want any dry. We want all wet. And let's see what that sounds like. Uh, doesn't sound like much. So let's go to make this um, a gr the Great Hall. Let's see how that sounds. Oh, we got to change this again back from dry to wet. There we go. Okay. Um, gonna make the room size bigger. Let's see how that sounds. Let's make the room size all the way up there. Okay. Uh, we're gonna make it louder, but we'll we'll take care of that some other way. Um, let's let's just right click on that audio, gain it up, normalize all peaks. Okay, there we go. Okay, fine. Now we can hear this reverb working for us, but in order for this to do what we want to do, we're gonna have to make um, a clip of this audio. So I'm gonna set an endpoint. And I'm going to go to where the cycle lands, and we're going to make that the out point. Okay, now I'm going to mute the original and just have track two active. I'm going to go to File, Export, Media, and we're going to do Waveform Audio and Export Audio, and we're all good. Uh, I'm just going to call it uh, Reverb. Okay, and there's no button here to be able to automatically add it to the project, so no big deal. In stereo, yeah, that's fine. So I'm just going to export it from here, and boom, it's done. But now I'm going to go back to my assembly. Okay, I'm going to import it. Uh, there it is. Okay, now I'm going to cover up. I don't have them snapping on anymore. We need that back. I'll delete that. All right, we need to bring this gain up here. So 10 dB. There we go. Okay, and yeah, we're just going to go about halfway in there and close it up. Okay, we can get rid of this in and out points now. All right, now we're going to duplicate this by, again, clicking on it, holding on the Alt key and sliding it over. And we're going to reverse this by speed duration, reverse speed. Okay, all right. Okay, now we've got this. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just going to make it a little more interesting by adding a sound effect to it. I've got this one here, this transition to send. I downloaded from Digital Juice. I'm just going to cut it off at the end here. And let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so basically there's your technique right there. One more time from the top just for fun. And that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. I know I didn't talk a lot about what I was doing and kind of whip through things kind of fast, but uh, that's the way this kind of thing is done in Premiere Pro. Thank you so much for watching. If you're inspired by this or, hey, if you just think I'm a hell of a guy, don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate it very much. Thanks for watching.